Hi all, I'm here to talk about downloading e-content to your device using Libby by Overdrive. As you can see, I am on an iPad, but this works perfectly well with an Android-based device. You're just going to grab the app from the Google Play Store instead of the App Store. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us at information at norwalkpl.org. And remember, this is a video, so you can always pause and continue if you find I'm going too fast. First thing we're going to do is go into the App Store and in the bottom right hand corner click search and in the search bar we're going to start typing Libby by Overdrive and click search. If you've downloaded this app before you will see a little cloud with an arrow going down. If you have not you're going to click get. Either way click and it will start downloading that app. You may have to type in your iTunes password or use your thumbprint depending on the security of your device. Once it has downloaded, you will see the bubble turn to open. We are actually going to go now back to our home page to find the app. Tap on the app and it will ask you first thing, do you have a library card? So now you want to go make sure that's handy and we're going to click yes. Now we're going to click the middle option, I'll search for a library, to start looking for Norwalk Public Library. Once you start typing Norwalk, it should come up in your results and tap on that box. Next, we do need our library card, so we are going to enter library account details and click in the box that says card number and start typing that number that's on the back of your library card with no spaces. And click sign in. Once it has gotten your card in the system, we click next. You will never have to sign in again. It will remember your credentials each time you do open the app. Once you open the app, you'll see on the bottom two options, library and shelf. Library is all the content that you can borrow. The shelf is content that you have borrowed. In the library, if you scroll up, you will see curated lists by your librarians as well as what's popular, what's available, as well as genre specifications. In the upper left-hand corner, you will see a search bar where you can search for a title or an author or a character. I'm going to search for John Grisham. Once you do that, you'll see all the items that we have available by John Grisham. You will see the first two say place hold. That means somebody else is reading it right now and you can go on a hold list. If it says borrow as the rooster bar does, you know it's available. If you're looking for items that are available right now, you can click in the middle preferences and choose availability from everything to available now. You can even choose a format if you're looking for books or just audiobooks. Once you have your preferences, click Apply Preferences and it will apply it to your search. Now all the items that are coming up are available right now. I'm going to borrow Camino Island by clicking on Borrow right next to it and borrow it once more. It's now going to take just a few moments to download to your device. Once it's done that, we can go to Shelf, and this is where you will always find it. You can then go back into the library and look for more items go by going back to the library and searching for a book. We allow you five items at a time. You can check out five, return three, borrow another three, return one, borrow another one. You can have as many as you'd like in that month, but only five at a time. When you're ready to start reading, you're going to go into your shelf and click on the cover of the book. We're now going to click on Read in Libby, this app. Once you do that, it will open the book. In the upper right-hand corner, you'll see what I call the hamburger menu, those three little lines. This will allow you to adjust some reading settings. You can change the font size of the book as well as the background colors and other things. 
click on the cover of the book to go back and click once more to make it go full screen. When you're ready to enter the book, you can swipe and start reading. When you're done with the book, tap once again and you will see all of your options appear and you can go back. When you're ready to return this book and get another one, go into your shelf and click Manage Loan. Return early and return. Now you have your full five items. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at information at norwalkpl.org. Happy reading.